Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Latina Marie. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing for the same company, but three different variations of this box bag, whatever. So it's for Ipsy. Um, this month, I went ahead and got the regular Ipsy bag, which has gone up from $10 to $12 a month. And you get a bag with sample size products, five products every month. And then I got the uh, Ipsy Lux bag box, which it comes with the same bag and five full size products in a box. And then I went, and that's twenty five dollars a month. And then I went ahead and got the Ultimate Ipsy box for $50 a month and it comes with 12 products in it. Um, there's full size and sample size products in this box. So this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy video, but I promise I'm not going to just blabber. I'm going to show you guys what I got in the boxes, what I liked, what I didn't like, and let you be on about your day. So, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. I would truly appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, let's get right into this because this is going to be a long one. So, I don't know if you guys know, but Ipsy has changed their packaging. It used to be a, a deeper pink and kind of sparkly bag and um, box and stuff, but they've changed it a little bit. They've changed the way that they write the Ipsy on the bag and everything. I think this is really cute. It's simple, but it's really cute. So this is what the package looks like. I've already taken it out. Everything that I'm wearing, well, I'm wearing things that came out of each box. So each bag, each box. So starting with the regular Ipsy bag, which let's just talk about this bag real quick. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's got like a pinkish shade to it. It's not just gray and brown. Um, it's really cute. It's got like a pink tannish color to it. It's super cute. I really like it. It's got a little tassel on it and it says Ipsy right there. And then all of my products came in this and these are the sample sizes. So for $12 you get sample sizes and I think honestly that's a good price. I wasn't upset with the $10 price. I don't know why they changed it, but yeah. Along with all uh, subscriptions, you get some kind of uh, newsletter, not really a uh, newsletter, but a, a list of things. This does not tell prices because their sample sizes and sample sizes are not sold. You can't buy sample sizes. Um, sample sizing is not the same as travel sizing, so that's clear. It's not a travel size because travel size is a little bigger than a sample size. A sample size is literally a sample. So, um, but yeah. So the first thing I got is a Orzea. I think I'm saying that right. You guys know I'm like not the world's best reader. This is a Orzea Beauty Lipstick in Opus. Opus. And this is what it looks like. It's just sleek white packaging it says Orza Beauty on it and this is the shade that I am wearing it is really nice it's a deep burgundy shade I really do like it um, it's nothing special I honestly have the shade in so many different brands but I do like it um, I'm not one to really just put on a deep dark lip but for this fall season I'm gonna try to do more deeper colors on my lips and my eyes because I just really do like the deeper colors so I'm gonna try so I'm happy that I got this because it'll make me gravitate towards the shades that I have plus this one next we have pixie by Petra um, this is a mesmerizing mineral duo in naturally nude so and again like I said when they say sample, they mean sample. This is a sample size. It's a uh, highlighter. So I wore it on this side of my face. I put a different highlighter on this side of my face. But this is the uh, lightish shade here. 
right here that I'm wearing here and then on my nose I'm wearing the darker shade so here you can see the darker shade so I really do like these um, I've never used a pixie uh, highlighter before but people talk about it all the time I know one person who really likes pixie highlighters if I'm not mistaken is uh, Jaclyn Hill really likes them. She says they are one of her favorite affordable highlighters, which I think I can agree because this, look at that. I like it. It looks very natural. It doesn't look like I slapped a highlighter on. It just really looks like a nice, beautiful glow in my skin, and it's really pretty. So I think I have to agree with that. And if I'm not mistaken, it is Jaclyn Hill who says that she likes their highlighters. Next we have Barefoot Venus Wild Ginger and Sweet Orange Mini Instant Hand Repair. So this is a lotion that I didn't, basically it's a lotion. I didn't use it so I really don't know what it feels like but I can use it right now. It's very thick. Oh my gosh it smells like orange peels. It doesn't have a ginger smell to it, which thank you because I really don't like that smell. Um, but uh, it makes my hands feel really soft. So I think I like this product. This will definitely go in my purse for those days where I'm rushing. And because uh, I, I always wash my hands before I leave the house, just in case I have anything on my hands, especially after doing makeup, my hands need to be washed. So then I'll some run times rush out without putting a moisturizer back on my hands. So this is definitely one that I would want to keep in my purse. So and it smells so good. Next we have, I'm not even going to try to say the name brand of this. It's Q. H E M E T. Cument Biology. Biolix. Biologics. Biologics. So this is a um uh, amyl and olive heavy cream. This is a moisturizing uh a moisturizer for hair. This is for your hair. Um I got one of these before in an Ipsy bag and I thought it was hand cream because I didn't want I didn't uh I didn't read it. All I saw was that it said heavy cream and I thought it was a hand cream and I was putting it on my hands and it felt sticky and I'm like what the heck kind of hand cream is this? And then I actually read it and it was hair product. But I got this in an Ipsy bag before, but it was coconut instead of uh Am Amla? Amla? I've never seen that word before. But anyway, um, I do like it. I have put it in my hair. I do like the product. So there you go with that. Last but not least, we have Gigi Gorgeous, the Gigi Body Glow. Now, I did not test. Yes, I did. I'm lying. I did test this on my hand. And I really did like it. I just ripped the box. This is a nice size, honestly, for being a sample size. I'm really grateful for this, and this is gorgeous uh, packaging, if you guys can see that, if it's going to focus. But this is really pretty packaging, um, and again, for the size that it is, this will go a long way, because with Body Glow, you know, I normally wouldn't put it all over my body. Um, I don't use body glow that often either, but for this is more so of a summer situation, but you could mix body glow with like a body cream and put it on so that you're not using so much. But mostly I use it on my shoulders and around here, around my neck. And if my legs are showing, then yes, I'll put it on my legs and my feet. But more so, I really just use it on my shoulders. Uh, I don't even drag it down my arms just because I feel like it's a lot. I, I just, I don't use it. But yeah, that's everything that came in the Ipsy bag starting at $12 a month. And I think this was a really good bag. Uh, sometimes it's a real hit or miss with Ipsy. I will be completely honest. Sometimes I will get a bag and I'm just like, Ipsy, did you even listen to anything that I said I like? But this month, I think they did a really good job. So now on to the... Ipsy 
Lux Ipsy Box. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. So it comes in a box like this. So it's a little bigger, bigger of a box. It's a little bigger than a boxy charm box, just a little bit. They're about the same size. And you're paying 25 for that, which is not bad because for Ips for boxy charm you pay 22 or something like that. But then yeah, you get your products, full size products. And in this box you get five full size products plus a bag. So I got two of these bags. Um, this one is a little bigger. This one is bigger than this one, as you can see. So I do like that, that they didn't just give me the same bag and the same size. So this one is bigger. Um, this would be something that I could definitely use for like a night over trip traveling type of thing. Like if I'm going on a romantic thing with my husband or if I've got some business stuff and I'm just gonna be gone for the night or the day or something like that, I could definitely pack my face makeup in this bag. This is big enough for me to do that and not need too many products and be fine with that. So I like that. I like that this bag is a little bit bigger. Um, because these are full size products, we do get a price value for these. So I will include that information as I'm telling you guys what I got. First we have Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. And this is a full size bottle, so they say. I mean, it is, it is, because the sample size of this lotion, which I really like, this is one of them comes like this this is what comes in an ipsy so it's the same really it is a sample so this is a full size and this is the perfecting skin lotion uh this says that it's good for acne like acne control this is a number three hydrate oil free hydrating hydration for blemish prone skin i want to try this on my son because he has eczema and I want to see if it will kind of control that for him. But yeah, I love their products. I get a lot of these in Ipsy, honestly. So keep them coming. I do like them. They're very good skin products. Next, we have the Ciate London Courtney Act Stamp and Drag Liner. This It's a really pretty package. I have to say that, honestly. It is a really pretty package. And then when you pull it out of the box, it's got little wings on it. It's so cute. So cute. So this is what it looks like, and it's signed by Courtney Act. I don't know who Courtney Act is. Um, I'm assuming she's a YouTuber or a beauty blogger. I'm not positive, so don't quote me on that, but I think that's who it is. So you guys have seen the, there's other brands that have this. And honestly, when I saw them, when they first started coming out, I was like, I doubt that they work, but I've definitely changed my mind on that because the, my eyeliner looks so good right now. So if you don't know what it is, it's a double-sided eyeliner. It has a stamp on one side that gives you kind of like a perfect wing. And then on the other side, hint to the wings. On the other side, it's just a regular liner and it, you just drag from where you stamped at so that it gives you a perfect liner. I thought BS, There, it's not gonna be that good, it's not gonna work, it, you're not gonna get that great of a liner, the wing's not gonna be that great. Honestly, my eyeliner has never looked better so i am definitely a believer i love this eyeliner i love this product you guys are definitely going to be seeing this on my channel a lot more because i'm really bad at eyeliner and i may even go and buy one of these so the the uh lotion was valued at 40 dollars, and this ciate uh liner is only 19 dollars. value of 19 dollars. next we have Gigi gorgeous Less is more lip gloss and get into it. The shade is called get into it. So this is what this looks like. Really, again, beautiful packaging. Um, I don't know who Gigi Gorgeous is either. I think I need to really get into knowing my makeup stuff a little more because this is ridiculous. I, I've never heard, heard of it. But this wand is huge. And I am also wearing this 
Um, it's just a gloss. It's nothing special about it. There is a little bit of gr grittiness in it because of the glitter. So it's like glitter in it. Um, I'm not a fan of that. I have another lip gloss that's just like that. And this one is not as heavy as the other one is. But I just, when I do that, I can't. I don't like that. Um, it doesn't last all day. It's it's going away. It does. It seems to, because you can't really see the glitter in it. So I don't know why it, you can feel it, but it, you can. So whatever. That's valued at sixteen dollars. Next we have the Trust Trustique Good Vibe Mascara. Now this came in a boxy charm. I did not get that box when it came. Did it come in a boxy charm or a boxy luxe? I think it came in a boxy look, boxy looks. I don't. I'm not positive if people who only got the boxy charm got it, but I know that the boxy looks got it. And again, I have not gotten a boxy looks yet, so boxy charm hit me up. But basically, this is a mascara that has a um, what's it called? Why can't I? eyelash curler on it? So yeah. Um, to be honest, 100% honest, I will never use it. Never. The mascara itself is not that bad. Um, I do like it. I will definitely use it, especially since I've opened it. Um, I am wearing it today. Uh, the mascara is not that bad. I will never use the eyelash curler. It's just not convenient. It's not practical. It's, it's really flimsy, honestly. I get where they were trying to go with it but it just it doesn't work so for me for me it doesn't work for everybody else it might be very convenient very very perfect for them ideal for them but for me it's not so yeah i'm not with it but that's valued at 25 dollars, which i think that's a pretty good price for that so last but not least for this box we've got a makeup geek highlighter in starlight so this is my first makeup geek product um, I've seen them in Target and just have never taken that step to purchase it. But honestly, I think I might because I'm wearing the highlighter now. And to be honest, you tell me. They're both really good. They both look really good. Um, this is the Pixie, in case you guys forgot, and this is the Makeup Geek. So this is what it looks like. I love Makeup Geek's um, emblem, logo, I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah. And then this is what the shade looks like. So, yeah. Can you see me? Hi. <laughs> So yeah, um, it's really pretty. I have tons of highlighters. This is just adding to it and I'm not upset with it because I love a good highlighter. I've not hit pan on any of my highlighters yet so I definitely won't be purchasing anymore for my, like, going out and buying anymore. But as far as them coming in my boxes, keep them coming because I love a good highlighter. I'm just saying. So that's everything that came in that and that's valued at $20. Boxy Charm, or not Boxy Charm, <laughs> Ipsy Box. This is the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. That's what it's called. So this is the Ipsy, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is worth $120. And yeah, so if you're interested in getting that, you'll be paying $22 to $25 for it. I believe it's $25 which is not bad, it's a couple dollars more than BoxyCharm. So if you like BoxyCharm, I think you'll like this. Um, the only thing is with BoxyCharm, you get a eyeshadow palette or some kind of palette in each BoxyCharm box, which I absolutely love and it's a full size uh, palette. I have gotten plenty of these boxes from uh, the, the Plus box and they don't give full size palettes. So that is a little bit disappointing, but honestly, some of the products that they do give are okay. And to be honest, I don't need no more palettes. I got plenty, plenty. So now we are on to the big daddy here. So 
it also comes with a bag that is much bigger. So you get three bags, and it's so cute because, you know, honestly, if you were doing, like, a week trip or a month trip or something, you could pack a lot of makeup in here, and you can pack some stuff in your bag, your small bag, and your medium-sized bag, and take it all with you and have it matching. So that's super cute. I think that's adorable. Um, if you get all three boxes, you get three different sizes of the bag. And then um, last month, it was Betty Boop. I did not get the $50 box because I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in it yet or not, but I'm happy that I did do this one, although I wish I would have. I got the two for Betty Boop, so I got two of those bags. One had a face on it, and one had just a little logo on it, and it was really cute, but um, I am happy that I got this one, and so, again, it's a matching set, so traveling will be cute and fun, so. I don't know why I keep going on these tangents about bags, but yes. So again, we got a paper telling us everything. I lied. I lied. Okay, so this one does not tell us what we have. So I'm just going to pull products out and tell you what we got. And unfortunately, there's no price on them because there's no paper. Now, the reason I'm thinking that they do that is because you get sample sizes and full sizes in here. You get 12 products in total, but they are not all full size. So we're just going to grab. So this first product... Again, I used these, some of these products on my face today for this look. Um, this is the Trustique. So we've got another Trustique product. This is a uh, color plus contour cheek stick. Now, this is what it looks like. I have it. I don't know why I'm showing you on the box. This is what it looks like. So it comes out like that. and you have a brush, which is super cool. Um, this says this is Brazilian bronze. This is the shade Brazilian bronze. Now, with this to my face, it looks like it is a little darker than me, but it is not. It is honestly the shade of me. I could use this as foundation, which if I run out of foundation, I don't think that would ever happen because I have so many right now at once. I mean, I would run out of one, but whatever. This picked up my foundation and concealer, so I would never put this on top of anything. Um, I definitely would use it under stuff, but I would never put this on top of anything because it pulled up my foundation. So I'm not a fan of this, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how much of this is worth, but yeah, I would, I would never put this on top. It definitely pulled up my foundation, and it, because it said it was a bronzer color, that's what I was trying to use it as. A bronzer color it says that it's a cheek contour so I don't know who they thought this was gonna contour because they ain't contouring me it's not my shade so that's what I mean when I say ipsy can be a big hit or miss sometimes sometimes I will get things and I'm just like who did they mean to send that to because it's not my shade now I do appreciate I will say this very loud and proud. I do appreciate that Ipsy tries to send complexion products because my favorite bronzer came from Ipsy. This is the Morphe bronzer in the shade Romance. And I absolutely love which I'm wearing, which I wear almost every day. That is the only product, the only product that I own that I've ever hit pan on. So I it really can be a hit or miss but sometimes I seriously am just like who did you mean to send that to they sent me a Smashbox foundation sample and I was just like um did y'all not get it when I said I was a deep complexion like because I, I try to give the benefit of the doubt of the fact that depending on what pro what brand it is deep can be a lot lighter than me so Sometimes if I feel like, okay, maybe I need to switch it up, sometimes I'll put that I'm a lot darker than what I am so that I can get something that's probably going to be my shade. But again, it's always a hit or miss. Again, we have a GG. I took it out of the box and never put it back in. But this is a GG Gorgeous Blush Duo. And I have it right here. And this is what it looks like. 
it's really pretty um you can't tell that i have on brown uh blush so it didn't do much um i thought it would be good because it's not super pink um you guys are seeing it pretty well for what it is it's a gorgeous packaging and everything but um yeah no i didn't use the shimmery side so i don't know what that looks like um, only because I wanted to use the other two highlighters that I have and I wanted to see how they perform So I didn't want to put this Glittery stuff on me. I don't even know if it's a highlighter Maybe it is blush highlighter duo But I didn't want to use it because I wanted to make sure that I got to use the other highlighters in today's look so next we have uh, Evolve Super oil that is all it says it came like this. It didn't come in a box. This is the protection of it. This oil smells disgusting. I don't know why. I don't even know what the benefits of this is. It says apply two or three drops in AM and PM as needed. But it's an oil. Um, I can see now, like I can see that this is not full at all. It comes to here. So, yeah, um, I put it on my face. I hope that I don't break out from it. I don't know if this is supposed to be a body oil or a face oil, but it stinks. So I don't know if I'd ever use it at all. It does not smell good at all, you guys. I was so bothered by that. Something I really love, Luxie. I love Luxie brushes. They are my absolute fave. This is, I believe, a highlighter brush. But yeah, highlighter. I would definitely use this for highlighting. But I didn't use it today because honestly I forgot it was in there. But I love Luxie brushes. So I'm happy to have this. Uh, Ipsy gives a lot of Luxie brushes. So that is one thing that I really like. So I think honestly that's why I keep getting Lux uh, Ipsy because I want the Luxie brushes. Next we have a Pout on Point. This is by Pop Beauty. And this is really cute. Really cute packaging. I really do like it. It's super cute. Creative. Um, this is in the shade Rose. Um, it's not my shade as liner at all. Just so we put that out there. I would Sometimes I use liners as lipstick though. So if I was going for like a real matte uh, nude pinky color that would definitely be it and then I would just use another um, liner to line with but yeah not my shade to line with but it's okay because I can still use it and then we have another sample size this is based this is planet based and plant based ingredients this is the body lotion I used this last night this is for sensitive skin it's called sandalwood um, I like this this is in the shade Get It On, uh, Get Make It, Rub Onto Skin, Clothing is Optional After. Oh, okay. All right, I didn't know that clothes just become optional once you put on lotion, but okay. But I do like this lotion. I wish this would have come in a full size because the sample size ain't gonna work, but it does last all day. It's pretty thick, pretty uh night not like when I say thick it's not like thick to the point where like my hands don't feel like they're just greasy or anything like that it's thick as in, as far as like it a little goes a long way we'll do that we'll say that got a aloe gel sleeping mask and this is definitely a sample size I have a few sleeping masks and I just don't use them um so I I'm happy that this wasn't a full size because something else could have been full size and then this would have been full size and I'm just like, oh, I wish the... like, so yeah, I'm happy that this is not full size. Next, we're going in with another sample size. This is High Beam. This is, uh, um, uh, a highlighter, a liquid highlighter from Benefit... This is what it looks like. Super cute. Super cute. And it comes on a brush like that. So, yeah. 
This is in Satiny Pink Complexion Highlighter. Yeah, it's just a highlighter. I don't know if I'll ever use it. I have quite a few liquid highlighters that I don't use. I'm just not into them. Um, I'm starting to get into them though because I, I sometimes I don't want highlighter on top of my complexion products. Having it under sometimes just works a lot better depending on what kind of look that I'm going for. So I'm starting to understand that some like things that I'm really used to don't have to be the only things that I'm using. Can you guys hear something vibrating? I hear a vibration, but I don't have anything vibrating. I don't know what it is. And I feel like it's getting louder as I'm talking about it. So I'm trying to speak over it. Sorry if it's you can hear it and it's distracting. I really do apologize. It's distracting to me too. I don't know what it is. But one more sample size. And as I mentioned before, Ipsy has never given me a full size uh, eyeshadow palette. But we have a palette from Violet Voss. This is a fruit sorb sorbet, sherbet, I don't know, however you want to say it. It's a fun sized eyeshadow palette, so it is not full size. It's fun sized. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, it's a really pretty palette. I was hoping to do a fall look with this uh, video today, but with these products, but unfortunately with this being the palette that I got, it was a little difficult to do that. I tried my hardest and I've been using this shade, this color um, in other brands a lot lately, so I didn't want to use too much of that. So I tried to use other shades as much as possible. I used this orange one, um, this pink one, and this one, um, and this one. And I used a little bit of the green one, but yeah, so you guys can see that. Yeah, um, I was hoping to really do a fall look. I was really into getting it in the fall thing, but this is a very summery palette, so. Um, that is something that I noticed. Ipsy does give a lot of off-season products. So in the fall and winter, you'll get a lot of summer products, which sucks, but it's okay. I mean, it, it's good for when it comes to summertime, I'll have those products, you know. So next we have a Billion Dollar Brows Best Sellers Kit. This is an eyebrow kit. Honestly, I was a little disappointed to see this in here because I do not like the Billion Dollar Brows uh, Universal Brow Pencil, and that's what's in here. I don't like it. Um, I have one, if I didn't throw it away, because I really don't like it, and I think I even got it from, nope, I got it from BoxyCharm, but this is what it looks like. And I either gave it away, threw it away, or lost it, and just didn't care. But I don't like this pencil. It says that it's universal, but my brows look very gray with the, when I use this pencil. I don't know why, but I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Um, I will keep trying. Of course, I used it today. I like for my brows to get darker, deeper when I use them, not cooler. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just not into it, but it comes with that. It comes with a brush, and a, uh, this is a brow dual pencil, concealer and highlighter, so to help you clean up your lines and whatnot, and then a brush to help with that as well, and then a brow gel. I don't use brow gels that often, but I used it today, and I think I'm gonna start doing that because it did help the way that my brows looked having to use that product that I don't like, so um, yeah. So yeah, um, it's a nice product. It is nice to to have, but I'm just not into it that much. Um, I will use the brush, the brow gel, and the concealer pencil duo thingy. So it's not bad. Next we have a Orbi scalp soothing leave-on treatment. So 
look how big this is but this is what it looks like it's super cute and um if you've had ever had the uh if you've gotten a boxy charm with the wander beauty um uh, illuminating serum i think that's what it is it has it looks like that when it comes out it's so cute i love that tip i don't know why but i think it's so luxurious it just really makes me feel like i'm using something kind of expensive when i put it on so i like it and i'm excited to get these out of my hair wash my hair use it and let you guys know what i think of it but i think i will like it i love this packaging though and last but not least this is Juice Beauty, the organic solution. This is a steam cellular anti-wrinkle boost serum. I've used this three times since I got it. Because I got this box first. Actually, yeah, I got this box first. I got my big box and then my medium box and my small box. But um, this is huge and it's heavy. And I love the pump on this. I'm not going to pump it out because I don't need it. And I'm not going to waste it because this is some good stuff. I really like it. And I really do feel like it is helping. My skin does not look like it's aging at all. I don't see any wrinkles. For three days I've been using this. So I feel like it is working. I could just be boosting it up because I like it. But I really do like it. So yeah. Um, this was a really long video. 45 minutes of recording so far, which is not bad. I'm gonna try to get it down to like 15 minutes. <laughs> try to get it down to 15 minutes, try to edit it to that. But yeah, that's everything that came into Ipsy for the month of November. And that is the Ipsy bag, the Ipsy bag plus, and the ultimate Ipsy bag. So, um, some pros and cons let's really quick go through this things that i love about the ipsy bag itself you get a bag hands down that i feel like that pays for the entire uh subscription right there because a, a bag can be about ten dollars so um yes they've hiked their price up to 12 but still you're paying ten dollars and then you've got these sample sizes some of them i don't think are sample sizes some of them i think they are travel sizes because sample sizes don't you can't get a sample size in everything so some things i do think are travel size and so that right there can pay for the price of the subscription too because sample sizes can be about 10 to 15 dollars themselves so with that bag i feel like it's definitely worth the money when it comes to the fact that one you've got a bag that pretty much paid for this, the subscription and two you've got maybe one or two products in the bag that will pay for it itself so again there's hidden misses that comes with it so you got to be prepared with that they don't always get it right but hey it's free stuff no not free but some of it is basically free so yes with the box the upgrade the next level up i hate that uh they don't give you any palettes um i guess this can be considered a palette a highlight but it's not a palette it's just a single highlighter um i you get many fun size palettes with it for as far as eyeshadow and stuff like that but I seriously wish that they would consider giving full size palettes I don't know if they ha ever have I haven't gotten them every month because again I am so indecisive and I don't make my decision until like later in the month and sometimes I miss my chance to even get the big box so yeah um, but ever, as far as everything that comes in there, sometimes I, I think it seriously is worth it. $22, $25 is what you pay for it. And then you get some amazing skin products. Ipsy is really good for that. Skin products, I, I definitely suggest Ipsy for that unless there's like a skin product subscription box. And if there is, let me know so that I can check it out and let you guys know what I think of it. And so that you can see my skin transform from texture to beautiful. So yeah. And then moving up to the big box. This is the second month that they've done the big box. Um, I didn't get it last month, as, as I mentioned, because I wasn't sure if I was ready to invest in that. Um, $50 is pretty steep. I feel like it's a lot. It is a lot. Um, for the big box at uh, BoxyCharm, you get like eight or nine products, full-size products, and you're only paying $28 for it. So 
the difference in it is pretty pretty significant and you only get 12 products and they're not all full size if it was 12 full size products for $50 a month I would say yes that's definitely worth it like the this lotion I definitely would have wanted this in full size this I'm not a huge fan of Violet Voss um, I do like this palette though um, they blend really well they build really well I mean I am liking this palette I have another one that I got from BoxyCharm and I just didn't like it but I definitely would have rather this been in a full size the sleep mask I definitely would have rather that been in a full size the highlighter full size those if those everything would have come in a full size $50 definitely would have been worth it because it's 12 products so there's four more products than you would get in a boxy Lux, but I don't know I just feel like especially with Ipsy being such a hit or miss with me I don't know if everybody's experiencing that but I get such a hit or miss experience with them sometimes I get stuff that is just perfect and sometimes and and it's not meant to accommodate me I, I mean obviously a little bit it is because they're asking me what I would prefer or what I like what I'm into and things like that but I don't know I just feel like $50 is a lot so I don't know how often I would get that box I did like it I did enjoy it I got some really good stuff but they're not giving full-size palettes um, so yeah I don't know I don't know I just don't think I could do $50 every month on a on a box that's just not willing to kind of give a little more give or take but then again I can't be upset with them because I don't know what their contracts is with these brands and where they're getting them from and what's, you know, what the situ. I don't know how that works. So as far as that goes, it really may not be Ipsy's fault that they're not giving full size products as far as palettes and things like that. And I'm complaining about the palettes only because I'm not paying as much at BoxyCharm and I get a full size palette in every single box. So that's just something to consider think about but at the same time I understand that brands are probably only giving fun sizes because they want you to go out and buy the full size one so I get it I'm not oblivious to that point in situation and understanding I do get that but yeah so yeah if you guys like this long video <laughs> I'm sorry it's so long but if you guys like this video let me know with a thumbs up if you are not subscribed to my channel again please go and hit the subscribe button and join the family I would truly appreciate it I had a lot of fun talking to you guys about this one I don't know why but um, it was interesting if you guys are interested in seeing these monthly let me know I will get them but I will only do it if you guys say you like them um, I don't think I'll ever pay for the $50 box again the 25 and the 12 I think I can stick with right now so but yeah my back itches I love you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one